Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I uh, aking it discuss po yung articulated task ng uh, second quarter. So allow me to share my screen. So hindi pa po kayo nagsubscribe sa aking YouTube channel na ba magsubscribe na kayo. Okay. So this is articulated task of grade 4 sa second quarter. So it's po yung team namin. Pretorian service oriented, Pretorian visualizing nature, integrating art, math, and science through digital drawing. So this is uh, this is uh, uh this is articulated in these subjects English, math, science, and computer. So there, the uh, we come up with the uh, transfer goal. Nagsama-sama namin. The learners are expected to identify visual elements using shapes. Apply knowledge of addition and subtraction of fra of fractions and use flow charts to show the feeding relationship among different organisms within a given environment through drawing different animals in MS Paint. Okay, so this is our goal. Your goal is to use flow charts to show the feeding relationship among different organisms within the given environment by using the different animals drawn in MS Paint. So this is your goal to research, study the chosen environment, and identify the various organisms that live there. Drawing, use MS Paint to draw the different animals, animals from your research. Math application, integrate mathematical concepts by incorporating fractions where applicable Showing portions of food consumed. Flowchart. Create a flowchart that accurately shows the feeding relationships among the drawn animals. And presentation. Prepare to present your digital artwork and flowchart to the class, explaining the feeding relationship and any mathematical concepts used. This is your role. Young ecologists tasked with exploring and illustrating the food chain of different organisms within the given environment. Your audience, your audience, residents, people in your community. Here is the sample situation. Imagine you are a part of a community project aimed at educating local residents about the importance of maintaining biodiversity in your nearby forest reserve. The forest is home to various plants and animals, and understanding their interdependent relationships is crucial for conservation efforts. Your team has been chosen to create visual aids that will display at the community center to help people understand these ecological relationships. Product. Your product will be uh, a digital artwork using MS Paint where you will draw different animals found in the forest reserve. Then you will create a flowchart to show the fitting relationship food chain among these animals. Okay, these are the criteria. Accuracy. Accuracy. Um, correct presentation. Representation of all. Uh, feeding relationship among organisms. Creativity. Highly original and imaginative animal drawings in MS Paint showing creativity and effort. Clarity. 
the flow chart clearly accurately depicts or show the relationships, making it easy to understand. Integration. Effective use of shapes and mathematical concepts such as addition showing seamless integration. And presentation. The final product is neat, well-organized, and visually appealing, showing high attention to detail. Okay. Kasi sinabi natin flow chart, this is a visual diagram that shows the steps in the process using symbols, arrows, and text. So each symbol represents a specific action or decision. Okay, we have different flow chart. We have ovals, rectangles, diamond arrows. Okay, flow chart are helpful because they make it easy to understand how a process works by breaking it down into simple, clear steps. For example, flowchart for a proper waste disposal at home would guide someone through each step. From sorting waste to recycling or composting. So same with ano to. So ito yung gin, uh, ginawa namin ng first quarter. Okay? Flowchart about recycling naman or composting. So in this quarter naman is gagawa sila ng food chain. So, this is an example of food chain flowchart. This is the food chain wherein it represents the uh, different animals. We have the producer, primary consumer, mostly primary consumer is, you uh, know, consumers are herbivores. Frog, uh, grasshopper in primary consumer natin. Frog, secondary consumer, snake tertiary consumer. And eagle quaternary consumer and yung final consumer at saka yung decomposer, hindi ko lang nailagay dito. Okay? So, i-represent yun din po yung energy loss once they uh, obtain food. Okay? Pag kinain ng primary consumer yung producer, ng secondary consumer yung first consumer, ng tertiary consumer, yung second consumer, and yung fourth or nine consumer, pag kinain niya yung tertiary consumer. At pati yung producer. So, if you have questions po, just leave a comment on on the uh, comment section. So, that's all. Thank for, thanks for listening and watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye-bye!